Hello, everybody. This is Catholic Dad, episode number 243. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein, this is Globalists versus Nationalists. Now, I don't know if you remember when Donald Trump got elected, and he, um, or I, I'm sorry, when he was running for president, and the first man to step up in the United States of America uh, was a, a man named Jeff Se Sessions to actually officially endorse uh, Donald Trump. And uh, he, he, he came out and he said, no, you don't understand. This isn't about Democrat versus Republican. This isn't about conservative versus liberal. This is about globalism versus nationalism. Donald Trump is the nationalist and the globalists are pretty much everybody else in, in government. Well, anyway, so who launched the whole um, uh, Russian dossier? This was the DNC. It was the Clintons. It was the uh, GPS fusion. It was MI5, MI6, um, and all sorts of international intelligence organizations uh, essentially, the globalist movement wanted to take out Donald Trump. Um, th there's a reason why, you know, Donald Trump is not even particularly conservative. He's like a like a 1960 uh, Republican slash Democrat, even. You know, he's like JFK, um, and he's not uh, particularly uh, very hard right wing. But the entire world hated him, and they hated him to um, like to the nth degree. And every they convinced a lot of people that were just pawns in the game, non-thinkers in America. Uh, they convinced them to hate Donald Trump as well. The reason why they hate Donald Trump is because he's a nationalist. He's not a globalist. He doesn't want new world order. He doesn't want one world government. He doesn't want complete oppression in the entire world at one government. He wants America to be a, a sovereign state that gets to rule itself for the betterment of its people. That's called nationalism. Uh, globalism is that you don't have any like separate states and then everybody answers to one world government for like all peace in mankind and complete global Marxism. That's what uh, globalism is. Well, anyway, so the globalists not, uh, launched a Trump, Trump dossier to get rid of Donald Trump. Problem is it wasn't good enough and we still have some semblance of justice in America and eventually that went away and that's no longer part of the issue. But think about it for a second. All the people that were involved in the Trump dossier to get uh, Donald Trump out um, are also the same people that were probably taking part in Epstein's forbidden fruit at his island and on the Lolita Express. And I suspect it's uh, one and the same people. It's the Clintons. It was probably the McCains of the world. Anybody who was a never-Trumper, I'll even throw Romney in that bag. Uh, it seems like too many people got uh, promoted to the, uh, the upper echelons of government too easily uh, for really very f few accolades and um, nothing more than other being uh, uh, an ardent globalist. And by the way, if you're a globalist, you don't get put to the upper echelons of government unless, of course, you partake in the forbidden fruit of Epstein's Island. And so just to let you know, people, this is uh, this uh, battle between globalism and nationalism is coming to a head right now. And whenever this happens, it's very, very tricky and it can become very, very bloody and very, very messy. The globalists are um, they're afraid right now and the globalists will do absolutely anything and they don't care what the body count is for them to maintain power. Um, and so uh, just watch out. That's all I'm saying. The FBI has a lot of information right now about a whole bunch of globalists out there that they can release and uh, arrest and potentially put to death for espionage and sedition and essentially holding the American government at, um, uh, at uh, uh, holding the American chains of government hostage to foreign interests. And so uh, that's what the globalist movement is about. And the nationalists are the Trump camp. It's, uh, it's essentially... Uh, we are Americans, you know, America, two-time World War champion. That's what the nationalists are. And uh, frankly, 50% of this nation are ardent nationalists. But they, I don't think they realize, by the way, that this is globalism versus nationalism. And so the globalists try to take out Trump. I don't know how many different ways. And so why would the globalists want to take out Trump? Is it because he's a misogynist or racist? or hey, They don't care about that. The globalists are misogynists. They're racist. They're haters. They're, uh, I mean, they're, they're just as bad as everybody they're pointing fingers at. The reason why the globalists wanted to take out Donald Trump is because they don't have any good information on him. They don't have any blackmailable information, and therefore he's not allowed to have power because you can only have power in the scheme of global government if you're blackmailable uh, to the point of being jailed. And so uh, anyway, uh, that, that's, a, that's a hard nut conspiracy theory to think about, but it's true. I, I suspect it's probably true. And uh, well, by the way, this is another way to think about it. Those in government who don't seem particularly bright, right, but they keep being given lots of higher uh, levels of governmental positions, right? They get on all the, the choice the committees in the Senate or in the uh, Congress or whatever else. Uh, just wait, wait and listen and watch because 
Um, perhaps they're going to uh, come out with lots of uh, nefarious information about these people because uh, to get put in positions of power in the world of globalism, you need to eat from the forbidden fruit. And um, well, that's just a submission, or uh, this is just a suspicion Catholic Dad has. It could be wrong, but just watch this. Uh, this uh, Epstein thing is a globalist versus nationalist war, and it's coming to a head right now. And potentially, a lot of shots are going to be fired off of each bow. And don't be surprised if a whole bunch of people end up dead. This is Catholic Dad making me think about it. Please like or subscribe. Get the Mass and pray the Daily Rosary. God bless you all.